before you get married, you may want to ask Harriet Tubman a couple of these questions. Ooh, let's get to it. So we know about Harriet Tubman, about her purpose. Amos 3 and 3. Can two people walk together unless they are in agreement? We know Jeremiah 29, 11, for God, for, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans not to harm you, but to prosper you and to give you hope in the future. And we know that God has ordered our steps. Second Corinthians 6 and 14, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has light with darkness. So. Just because y'all go to church together does not mean y'all equally yoked. Mm, that's deep, but I'll get into that in another, another segment and speak on that. Deuteronomy 22 and 10. Don't, do not plow with an ox and a donkey yoked together. It's not going to work. At times, God will allow or use your situation to be uncomfortable to get you to move you towards your destiny. I hope you catch that. But we're talking about Harriet Tubman. So as she was young, you know, she had caught the measles working. She was whipped. Um, this is from Harriet Tubman dot org had put. She had there were times she had to put her toes in smoldering ashes just not to get frostbitten. Um, at age 12, her name Armenta was now called Harriet. So she was named after her. She was her name changed after her mom letting them know that she was old enough. So she was 12 and she was seriously injured by a blow to her head inflicted by a white overseer for refusing to assist in trying and tying up a man who attempted to escape. At the age 25, she married John Tubman. So that's where she got her last name from. He was a free American, African-American. She dreamed of traveling north. But when she got hit with that thing, that's when she said she started having permissions or visions and dreams from God. And she felt like that was her purpose and what she had to do. But she dreamed of traveling north. She knew that there could be a chance that she could be sold and her marriage was split apart. So she was trying to make sure her marriage worked and she's trying to do that. John did not want to go north. I don't know if you catch it, but now you're starting to see the picture of why I guess Samuel Jackson in there. <laughs> but let's get to it, man. He said that he was fine where he was, where he was at. He told her that if she ran off, he would tell her master, hmm, her own husband. See, he was free, but he was still a slave. See, that's the thing. See, Harriet Tubman said, I could have freed more people had they didn't known that they were slaves. He was free, but he didn't even get it. So I guess you're good with your free self, right? Yes, sir. So he told her that she ran off. He would tell her master. That's where we guess Samuel Jackson. That she did not believe him until she saw his face and then she knew he meant it. Hmm. Yes, yeah, Samuel Jackson. Her goal to achieve freedom was too large for her to give up, though. So in 1849, she left her husband and escaped to Philadelphia. Harriet got a job where she saved her money to pay to help free slaves. Her third trip, she went to go get her husband, but he had remarried and still did not want to leave. So she left and reached the safe house of Frederick Douglass. Now, this brings me to one of the cliches when it says, if you let it go and it comes back, is meant to be yours. Well, if you let it go and they still acting like they ain't got no sense or worse, it was never meant to be yours in the first place. And you should have somebody on your team that is going towards your destiny. See, you got to pay attention. See, because had she to stay there, she would have never been who she was and she would have never fulfilled her purpose. But Frederick Douglass kept them until he collected enough money to get them to Canada. The reason why they had to go to Canada it was because they were, um, you know, after everything that was happening, you know, they were shoot, they were going north and they made the Fugitive Slave Act and they imposed fines and things like that. But you got to understand when you when you start going towards your destiny, there will be people on your team that can't be bought. So as Harriet Tubman, you know, was going back and forth, there were people that, you know, could could have sold her, uh, you know, for for money 
and they could have got forty thousand dollars or twelve thousand dollars back then. That was a lot of money, but they they didn't do it. See, it was still some good people, and I know a lot of people. You know, sometimes they get mad. And they be like, "Oh, these slave owners." They feel like everybody was mad. No, nah, if it wasn't for good white people along the path, they wouldn't have made it. So you really gotta check history. People always say research, but they don't really research. They just research what they want. So, um, and she she did attend uh, Salem Chapel BME Church. Um, but she did get remarried and it says that she had a peaceful 19 years of marriage until he died. So who wouldn't want a peaceful marriage? Hmm. So, 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 so what am I trying to say? Make sure that whoever you marry or you talking about marrying it, you know, is, has no problem with your destiny. That means that what God has called you to do, it, it should work. Just like, just like the word said, you can't put an ox in a donkey. You shouldn't do that. And it says, how can two walk unless they agree? So, you know what I'm saying? Because that's how it should be. And so she had to go and do, because imagine if she would have just listened to her husband at that time, she would have never did that. She would have never became a spy. She would have never became a nurse during the war. And she helped a lot of people because of her uh, knowledge of you know, uh, cures and things like that, you know, even though she was illiterate, but that was her purpose. She helped so many people, blacks and white soldiers and things like that. And she was still underpaid because it was about her purpose. Um, and that's what we got to make sure. Like I said, take take a page out, make sure that you, you know, you talk to somebody, you know, um, that, you know, if you're about to get married or you're thinking about it, make sure they're in line with your destiny and what God called you to do or what you feel like is your purpose. And it should be like that. And so, um, you know, even with her, she she had to leave and she went and did what she did and he still was down there. And I'm thinking to myself, like, this is a funny part. Like, this is why I put the uh, thing with Samuel Jackson, because I'm thinking like when she came back to get this fool, like <laughs> he must have started trying to tell, like, listen, I'm about to go tell Massa. And so like she had to go leave, like, but he was he was he was free, though. And he was OK with staying down there. and He still didn't get it, man. Like you was a free slave. Like that's why when people, when you got free, you ain't a slave no more, but yeah, you free with your free self. But man, I hope you catch that. So I'm just listening, man. We're doing this research and what God has shown me, man. That was powerful. Cause I didn't know that. And I definitely wasn't taught that in school, but they're not going to teach y'all that. It's going to teach you like the little basics and what they want you to see. But you got to make sure that you got a person that's going in the same direction with you. And sometimes two good people just don't fit together. And that's not a bad thing. It's just that you don't, you know, he didn't want to go. So, I mean, just think about it, you know. Um, but, you know, imagine if she wouldn't have go, how many people wouldn't have benefited from that and things like that. How many people she had helped and things, you know. And also now to this day, still talking about her because we understand for, uh, with her that it's not about us. It's about our purpose. So I hope you caught that. Love y'all. God bless.